Well, more was expected of the Rockies last year coming off a playoff appearance in 2018. They ended up finishing last season at 71 and 91, and they turned into a real Jekyll and Hyde team. When they were good, they were pretty good. When they were bad, they were bad. Smiling Bud Black finds their <laughs> best 60 game stretch at 37 and 23. One of the best 60 game stretches in all the year last season. Uh, but not smiling Bud Black finds the other extreme. Their mm. worst 60 game stretch was the second worst in all of baseball, winning at just a 267 clip. Where, Harold, do you have the Rockies this year? They're an interesting club. Uh, I don't think they're going to be as bad as the stretch they had last year. I think they'll be healthier. They have a little more depth. I think the DH really helps this club. Look, you got Daniel Murphy. You get picked up Matt Kemp. You can be able to use two veteran guys in that slot, depending on if they're going to be in the field or DH. That's big. Uh, I think the loss of uh, clearly, I think with being able to put McMahon over at first base opens up some things. Brendan Rodgers, who's not in this lineup, I think that allows him to come to the big leagues and be effective. But, you know, I think this is, a, this is going to be a great offensive team. We always say that about them regardless anyway. It's all about pitching. Will they pitch? And I, I think the pitching will be better. I like the fact that Bud said they're not kids anymore. Mm -hmm. And the accountability does play big. And then the last thing, Al, I'll throw it to you with this, is I thought it was interesting John Gray's comment about the fact that um, they – are accountable with each other when nobody's watching them practice. That means the clubs hold each other accountable. Matt, that's it. I was going to go to Matt, but you well, go ahead. The key, and I want to throw this to Al because the mysterious regression of Kyle Freeland mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. what I think a lot of people attributed the bulk of the failure to last year. Not to pin it on one guy, but he was so good as a local guy in 2018. And he wasn't that guy last year, Al. What happened with him? Slider. Hey, listen, when guys come on the scene, I thought Buddy Black, uh, him coming over uh, as being the manager there, was excellent. Because, H, you're right. This is about pitching. The history of this franchise was not about bopping the ball around since the Blake Street Bombers. It's about what are you going to get. And that guy right there, two years ago, we just showed him our 17-7 at 285. Last year, he was 3-11 with an ERA close to 7. They sent him down. It couldn't have been more Jekyll and Hyde. If there's a snapshot of the Colorado Rockies as to the, the flip that it was in 17 and 18, was that guy. Like, he just was completely off. His slider, when, if you remember, when he the two years ago, like, it was almost unhittable. Yeah. You placed him as a number two. John Gray ended up hurting his foot at the end of the season. Mm -hmm. They have to get better, meteor, consistent starting pitcher. I don't care we're bullpenning in baseball now. If you're getting three and four inning starts, you're not going to win.